walking into his dining room, um, the most amazing man um, that you never, th one never thought that one would meet, um, was just sitting there and greeting us. Uh, and when he stood up to say hello, he was so tall. I just, I couldn't believe um, the kind of scale of him. Uh, and he was so smiley and grandfatherly and um, really welcoming. He was humble and down to earth, he was chatty and friendly and he sat there calmly signing his works, each one with a big signature and he chatted to us about many world figures. You had to pinch yourself that you were really there and sitting with Nelson Mandela at his dining table um, but it felt very natural and very much like he was a, a kind of normal grandfather figure. He was talking about how important colour is to him because he, he believed that colour um, would um, help the viewer to transcend um, the awfulness of a place and to see everything in a much more warm and positive light and that actually speaks volumes about him. We saw drying uh, on the, the um, sofas some of the handprints that he had done that morning and uh, his hand had been painted black uh, and prints had been done with the idea that they were looking for a print that had very good love lines and life lines that would have shown his marriages, um, his children and, um, and, and the, the state of his life and had good finger and thumb prints because that was relevant. So it was quite remarkable when it actually came out with this shape so closely resembling the continent of Africa. Um, and it is just such a striking piece. So we've had a range of people with um, very um, deeply felt experiences and especially when they read the texts that Mr Mandela wrote uh, that go with each image. I think that in some ways those are more poignant and extremely moving. People really want to um, share in the history of them, I think, and are just inspired by this great man who has done these pieces that, that tell the story of his life, really.